Marge reporting back on how it went on our last week of the happiness movement. By the way, thank you to Live Happy for creating the happiness movement because we certainly feel a lot happier, don't we Marge? Much. Reporting back on how we feel after we've been of service to a charity or to an aspect of our faith. Go. Well, I just wanted to say, because this is the last week, um, the happiness movement isn't necessarily a quick fix. It's a lot of work. But what it does is it reminds us that you don't have control over too much in this life. I think we all know that. Uh, but what you can control is your actions and how you respond to things. So when you're having a not so great day or get some not so great news or things are outside of your control, choose action. Choose happiness. Dolly, I might nominate you for the Peace Prize. That was, that was like a rallying call. I think I impressed myself there a little that bit. That was very good, Marge. Very good. Have you been taking public speaking classes? <laughs> no. Well, you may be looking into that, darling. Okay. Politician, I would vote for you, Marge. Well, maybe. Oh. Um, no, but the thing is, yes, Marge is absolutely right. One does not want to dwell. One needs to take action. The worst thing you can do is feel that the weight of the world and there's nothing and despair and you're in a pit like Jabba the Hutt. No, not Jabba the Hutt. What's that pit that out of Jabba the Hutt? A, pit, a sand Please pit. Please stop embarrassing Terrible. yourself. Terrible. Uh, I know about popular culture. Uh, right, no. What, we're, what, and what we are going to do is kitchen therapy because basically we've realised there is actually a need for this, darling Marge. We, um, kitchen therapy is when Marge and I, with our ex Expertise, now that we've completed the happiness movement, happy as possible, Larry, um, we are going to go into your own home if you're having a tricky spot and we're going to cook with you and uh, help you through it, aren't we Marge? I will mostly be chopping vegetables. She's very good at chopping vegetables, don't diminish that. Chopping onion, by the way, is quite challenging, so good that you're enthusiastic I about that. I never cry. Just try it, onion. Yes, there we go, and with us fighting talk, darling. So we are going to be going on the road with Kitchen Therapy and that is going to be continuing because the thing is, the thing is darling, I reckon the whole reason Marge and I are together, uh, you know, even found each other in this life, is because of some wise words and Marge didn't top herself. Uh, sorry to bring that up again. But, um, and so as a result of that, Marge got in touch, came here and uh, you know, the thing is there are more people that could be saved. You Kitchen Therapied me. Yeah, yeah, I did indeed. And we are out to save the world one kitchen at a time. Hey, um, um, Tallulah, I have something that I've been meaning to tell you this whole time. Yeah. You don't really have a microphone. Marge. Thank you.